All right. Here we go. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for right. another edition Diamondbacks of and Rockies. Forty-two up, we've got and twenty-three. Up in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks right. and the Colorado Rockies. Well, welcome to my in style recording. I'm trying something different here. I'm gonna go try to be on the screen here because everybody Next. likes to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I get some more views if I just kind of do some commentary along with my game here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? So here we go. Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league. And Do some MLB 20. Out, We're in second place behind the Dodgers. That's about as let's see here. And look for him to dominate in this one. So coming to the plate, Starling Marte. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. There we go. Well, boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. They come in here hoping to make it two in a row. Now, it seems like every time I skid with a victory last time out. go to the first batter, I've got this uh, PlayStation 4 controller. And for some reason, I can't move the placement of the ball. Like the uh, knob here gets stuck or something, so I have to get the first hit before I can kind of place it where I want to. Let's see. Uh, in the dirt. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Uh, you know, one of the big on. issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy, wet, Matt, and I don't know yeah, how much rain, rain delay. this field can take. Drum Marquez will probably. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and yeah. for the first out of the ball game. This dude is a strikeout machine. Right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five here. pitches, you notice the location of oh, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard. So if you're watching my uh, umpiring crew there. Hey, if you're following along with my Larry MLB gameplay, oh, man, I just lost three to the Dodgers. We're in second place behind the Dodgers. Not very and uh, yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's just the one dropped thing three, won the last one, one. So I went one and, on one and three with the series of the Dodgers. I can't gain any ground on them. Hit back toward the mound. Oh, come on. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Oh, now what? A low throw, but he can't knock it down at first as he uh, gets right by him. And fielding well, errors and running errors. And him on first, can't do nothing in this game. And sails the throw. Now he's got a man in scoring here. position and nobody to blame but himself. Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. Away as he looks All at right. Ball. It's 1 0. Great chance him up to the slider here. Run here in the early going. Try to get on the. Uh, Outside corner. Ball two. Ball two. That's a pretty tough spot right. for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner come back to the fastball. Try to get the high fastball. And he drilled it. Hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's a two run shot so we're in the hole now, too. Center, number 14 on the season, and Arizona moves All right. in front Man, I gotta get to some uh, headphones. And I don't like this. I gotta get a Yeti microphone here. I don't like it too much. I don't have it. You know, it either needs to be up closer to my mouth, I think. Or, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get some headphones with a microphone attached to them. I think I kind of like that setup a little better than having a, a so separate microphone. Play, and yeah, I've got these. Uh, I guess they came with the Xbox. I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 now, but these headphones here came with the Xbox. I got them plugged into my computer, and they kind of hurt in my ear now. Oh, nice swing, Dave. Let's see here. Two balls and a strike. Come on. I don't blame that was him for in the not zone. coming over the heart. Yeah, a little bit low. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He didn't chase a slider. The hotter bats in the game. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. All right, three and one. Still only one out in the gonna come up with a fastball. Can't have a ball here. Too close like for that. comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. <sighs> Let's go with the knuckle curve. Try not to get it in the dirt. Try to get him to chase something. 
Here we go. Nice. Number two. Man, this is a long inning. This isn't looking good for the first inning. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the low. Low and inside. Fastball. Oh, way too inside. Let's see here. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's tough here. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's and a little bit outside. A little bit outside. Hey, this one's pretty good. About being in his own. This guy's been raking lately. Yeah, he has. He starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Right, I'm gonna go with a high fastball. One. See if I'll get him to chase something out of the zone. Swing it. Here we go. Fastball, and it gets by him a swinging strike. All right, let's see here. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. We'll go to the outside slider. Try to catch that corner. As long as he keeps it above the letters. Good job uh, going down and hanging with it that time. What now? What now? Look like he was cheating. Knuckle curve, maybe. Right Trying to get him chase something. Too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely. You gotta be kidding me! Come on, man. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 19th home run for him on the season as the D-backs have now taken a three-to-nothing lead. Well, it's very early. Pug. He's looking me a little pug right here. It's my little buddy. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Let's see. Could go either way at this point. <laughs> All right, we got to settle in here. We're going to be up three in the first inning, and it's not over yet. The first, first pitch of the at-bat. Walker. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Come and on, that's man. Through for a hit. Destroying my pitching. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent Can't it believe this right long inning. From. Into the box now, Stephen Vogt. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And he watches one dip low oh my, inside. 30 one pitches. One and one. 26. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard break. Man, this guy's not going to make it to the third play. inning. Tough take on a terrific pitch. A ball and two strikes. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding. All right, let's see here. My offense has been struggling a little bit. Offense has been struggling a little bit, so we'll try to see if we can't put something up here. Right, but we're at home, so let's see here. Lede, Naquin, and Welker. All right. And if anybody's watching, I traded Nolan Arenado, trying to keep it, you know, kind of... Well, not really in tune with what the actual Rockies are doing because half my team here, I've got a bunch of different people that aren't on the Rockies normally. But uh, I did want to go ahead and trade Nolan Arnado. I traded him and uh, I can't remember exactly. I traded I traded th a three for three to St. Louis and I got uh, Chris Carpenter and then I got two pitchers. I got Adam Wainwright and uh, oh, shoot, I can't remember off the top of my head who the other guy is. He's a pretty good pitcher. I just can't remember who he is. Yeah, Madison Bum. Of course I got to draw Bumgarner. Put myself three runs in the hole, and I got to go against Bumgarner here. It's ridiculous. Bumgarner. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Pitcher's got options here. I'm telling you, man, my, my offense has been terrible. I'm not seeing the ball at all. I'm not seeing the ball good at all. Up. Swinging at everything. Room in foul territory, and no one will track it down. What's Bumgarner? Fastball, cutter, curve, changeup. He's thrown two in that. Two balls and one strike, and I've swung at everything. And he fouls this one off. Well, it should be, should be. Dumb, 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 dumb. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Oh, Anytime you get rookies, just, just I'm too aggressive up there. I'm not not patient with the ball. I'm not waiting for anything to come to me. I'm just swinging at everything. There we go. I'll finally watch the ball come across. 
Tyler Naquin stands in as he looks at ball one here. Fastball cutter curve change. Okay. Rocky center fielder looking at a 2 0 count now. Get out of there, Naquin. Three and oh now. All right, keep that bat on your shoulder. Welker will be next. It's gonna be right down the middle though. I'm gonna regret not swinging. But I'm gonna keep it on my shoulder. Bottom <sighs> part of the zone, a good changeup. Dang. Call. Nice little pitch. Probably better that right. he let that pitch go. Yeah, it was 82 miles. I was probably gonna be on top of it. Pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Damn, I handle that well joker. Ooh, hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Pulls this one into the air out Man, into right up. field. Under it now is Marte to pull <sighs> it in for route number two. All right. See, I just I cannot get any offense going. About the last 20 games, I guess. I just hadn't had a good eye for the ball. I started out really good. It started out high. It started like 20 and one or something. And. Uh, Dropped a bunch lately. And Don't swing at that. Back to swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. All right. Two out, nobody on. You can do it. <laughs> and that misses one and one. A bit low. One ball, one strike. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Drive out That's a good hit. Field. That's a real good hit. Come on, come on. Let's get to second. Go! Go! And now he'll get in the scoring position with two away. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles. Like I'm, I'm pushing the button, and I'm, I'm hitting the uh, L1, tell him to go ahead and advance the base. And they won't do it. He just sat there and, and waited a second on first base. I, don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand. I can't control the running game good. I'm making too many errors out in the outfield, so that's the reason I lost about half the games that I have. Here we go, Trevor Story, baby. Let's do it, Trevor. Let's do it. This kind of season from this guy, not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming what? into this year. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Trevor Story's a beast. Here it Always comes, has been. Oh, you sweet swing thing. and a miss for strike one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man, man at the plate is not trying to push reason. something to the opposite field. Shut up. Turn off these idiot announcers. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. I hope it is. The two one home. Even count two late balls and two strikes. Late. Very late. Yeah, I knew it was coming, so I couldn't get on top of it. And he popped him up back into okay. foul territory right. behind first. And well, this is my first stream, or not even stream, but recording video with this uh, Yeti, the setup here. So I just don't know if the sound's going to be good or not. So this is kind of the test run for my uh, setup. Fouled off. And uh, hopefully I can get this going, this and get some live stream going, and get my uh, giveaways going again. I know that's what a lot of people like to do on this channel, you know, gaming and giveaways. High in the air, out to center field. Up, up. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down. <sighs> that will end the inning. Can't get nothing going. Danger averted oh, following the two out six. double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Should I get a 12 year old pug over here? As we begin the second inning in Denver, here's Man, it's freezing outside. On the weather conditions. It's uh. Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather is 15 degrees out here right where I live, and uh, it's cold. I'm upstairs right now, they said and it is freezing up here. I got the heat on, but it hadn't but kicked on yet. Heidi, thanks, and Dero, right, I'll send this here. one to you. In as center. an infielder, these are games that can really challenge a player. 
Naquin has it, and it's a quick out number one. All right, here we go. We got to get your pinch count down. You got to try to. So striding forward now, Madison Bumgarner. Try to get some quick hits, quick outs, here. quick strikeouts. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from there we go. sometimes. Blow it past him. One pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. I mean, it's a pitcher. Come on. He ain't gonna hit nothing. Fastball strike he three swing. called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. <laughs> so four strikeouts for him already. Struck out four of the first five to greet him here tonight. And as we present the Rockies leaderboard, you can see he currently paces the ball club in that department. <laughs> Starling Marte will stand in for the second time now as he looks Let's at a called here. strike. It's nothing in one. Try to cheat a fastball in on him. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Marte, a former Pittsburgh Pirate, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is again. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is So I'm not too familiar with the uh, MLB The Show. This is the first order. one I've played out of all of them. Just picked this game up. And um, I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> Bottom of the inning now. I was gonna say. Yeah, see, here we go. Jesus Aguilar, one of my favorite players. Uh, he's definitely not a Rocky, but he is on here. What? Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Gotta yeah, it is. Man, my ears are hurting. Ooh, this does not feel good. I gotta get some headphones. Oh, Aguilar. Oh. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Protecting with two strikes. Affectionately known, of course, as Mad Bum. He was a first-round pick Mad back Bum. in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted Ooh. this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Nope. The next 0-2 misses, and then we'll move it to 1-2 and two now. That was real low, wasn't it? It wasn't that close. Looked close on the screen. Pulled high in the get out, get out. Go, 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 go. Yeah, just got to blend it a little bit. Play, one away. Oh, I know what I was going to say about the game. So, uh, the first couple games I played wasn't really a challenge. It was blowing away teams. Uh, I don't know. 10 to nothing, whatever. I was hitting the ball out of the park all the time. And uh, so I wanted a little bit of a challenge, so I got online and found out how to how to do the settings and the sliders and all that to make the game a little more realistic. Well, I did that, and then I started to get my ass kicked. I was just I couldn't couldn't see the ball, nothing. I mean, it was blowing by me and striking me out, We're losing games, 15 to nothing, this and that. So uh, I've had to adjust the settings and the sliders over the last five or so games to try to get it to be actually playable for me, but also be kind of a a um, kind of a challenge, you know. I don't want it to be just a easy game, but I didn't, I'm also not an all-star at this game, or a pro or anything. So uh, I've got it kind of. I think I got it set to where, um, you know, it's pretty much a challenge. I'm not going to win every game, but I'm not going to lose every game either. You know, I'll do some good hitting here and there. I'm not going to crank the ball out of the ballpark for 15 home runs a game. So that's pretty good. I mean, I'm. I've kind of got it to where it's a good challenge for me. I mean, I'm never going to be, a, you know, a, an all-star at this game. I'm not going to be, you know, you see me on the, uh, you know, online competing for the World Series championship or anything or like that. But I just want to have a good uh, good challenge on this game. And, you know, I'm doing all 162 games for the Rockies here. And hopefully I can take them to the World Series. Oh, come on, Matt. So this guy's the replacement for... Uh, Nolan Arenado went to the Cardinals. Hernandez. Of course, that wasn't the real trade, but the that's the trade that I made. Here's ball one now to the Rockies' third baseman. It's one and one.
Nice hit. Nice. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And now it'll go, go, go. go. What are you turning back for? So that's what I don't understand. I'm pushing the L1 button. Or, yeah, L1. Why is he not going? God, he almost got thrown out. I, don't, I, I can't get the, the running controls down. I don't know what's going on. That's probably the reason I lost half my games, because I can't control the running game. We got one out here. Alright, Tony. We need something out of you. Here comes the first pitch. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep yeah, it in the line. Yeah, I'm not push that. Because I can't control the running game good. The 1-0. -oh. Now a flare out to left drop, center. Drop, 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 drop. He can't get yes. there as it falls in, Ooh. and that'll put him on the board as it's now a three to one three contest. One. Boy, I don't know about that pitch selection right there, Dior. You have a base open with the pitcher on deck. Not very good pitching right there. Dan, as a guy who hit eighth in the National League a time or two, nothing's more difficult than to try and mind the bounce the double play here. And come up with a game plan when you know you got the pitcher on deck. Shocking. That he was coming after him right there in that yeah, big I'm spot, and he paid the price. Marche is there. Yeah, Let's see here. if they test it. The right field. JJ. JJ Bleday, beast I called up from AAA. And their runners at the corners now. Because uh, Charlie Blackman's on the, on the on its way. injured reserve well, list right now. Swing there to hmm. start Man, the that hurts. I mean, that's a classic case Man, of coming off your headphones. backside right there. He lost right. his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't Yeah, Charlie Blackman's on the disabled list right now, or injured reserve. Fouled away. So this guy's... This guy was my number one prospect out of the AAA. He's been pretty good. He had two home runs two games ago. Maybe last game, I don't remember what it was. 0-2, here it comes. And the and cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Oh, well. Oh, well. Some of our too cold for him to go outside, though. You don't want to go outside and go to the bathroom. He likes cozying up this. on his pillow right here. Remember Baxter. Oh. Say hi, away. Baxter. And stepping up as the oh. Oh. oh, there's my pug. Say hi, Baxter. Where's the camera? They want to Say hi, Baxter. And try to build that lead as much as they can He's moving into play. the later innings. He's an old pug. He's an old thug now. Get on that pillow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got a... He's got a collapse in trachea. First pitch of the at -bat. And we're giving him a steroid. And here's try to... A strike at the knees. Don't try to get that trachea like that back. Too much, but it's and, and it makes him cough all the time. Not the... The, the uh, trachea. Collapse in trachea makes him cough all the time. Pugs can't breathe good anyway. Breaking ball below the zone. Good That's ball boy. one. Good boy. <laughs> one one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. And Got this it. is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts hey, now, and that's your Marquez first is a beast. Strikeout machine. I think he is the uh, National League leader for the All-Star game in pitching. I'll look at the uh, standings after this game's over. Is it Baxter? It's too cold for you to go outside. It's too cold for you to go outside. In now, David Peralta. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a good pitch. What was wrong with that pitch? But it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A little bit. A little bit low. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. 
Peralta is considered an absolute stud with a bat particularly against right handed pitching against southpaws however he has historically had a lot more difficulty. What's Tony Tony saying knuckle curve. Let's go with that. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. Throw over to Aguilar at first will take care of him oh, to end good. the inning. A lot of times I'll go with what Tony calls. Sometimes I won't, but I like to watch the pitcher. They kind of know what they're talking about as far as the pitches I need to throw. Who we got here? Bottom of the third. Next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Hey, we're still in the Man. early stage of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Slowly down the first get out, baseline. Get out, get out. But this will wind up a foul ball. Let's strike see that one. two. Fastball cutter curve change. Fastball cutter curve change. Pitch. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there. Got and me that's locked up. Number one. Got me jammed up. Now, back. now to the plate, Colton Welker. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches Stop you Stop swinging get. that junk. Maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last mm. time. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Late on the third fastball. inning here. Three Damn. to one, our score. And another foul ball. I just wonder how the sound is going to be on this uh, recording here. I'm interested to see. This is line to left. Ooh, drop, drop, drop. Nice, nice hit. And that finds the outside. So if you're uh, just checking out my channel for the first time, you know, this is just my test run as far as the webcam and the audio with this Yeti microphone. So just kind of stick with me if you like the gameplay. I'm going to try to improve it if the audio is bad. I'm not sure if it is or not. I'll have to get this recording down and then uh, I'll check. I'll check and see if, it, if it's if it's good. Then you know that's good. That's I got lucky. But if it's not, you know I'll try to try to improve with previous um, or with more uh, recordings coming up. Oh man, I got a white change up. I was swinging for the fences on that. Ball and a strike to Trevor Story. I'm sending this runner. Right now, hit and run. Now the one and one pitch. And there he goes towards second. Scooped up. Well, no in time at first for round number two. That was a ball, too. Should have let it go with the guy stole the base. But, oh well. Digging in now, Jesus Aguilar. All right, Jesus, let's put one over the fence, baby. Put one over the fence. I love this guy. He's one of my favorite players. One of my favorite players. I did love Nolan Arenado, too, but he left us. Gotta go. All right, <laughs> come on. The 1-0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. Two out here and a runner at second. I know. I'm aggressive with the Asus. You know, he was having a great season with Miami on this game. Uh, at about 25 games into it, <laughs> I traded for him. And he's not done good for me. Because I haven't, well, I'm not batting good with him. Swing and a ground ball to third. But he was having a great but season with Miami. And uh, ever since he's come on, I think <laughs> his batting average has dropped about 25 points. 
he's below 300 with me now. To send him packing, pitch on its way down the third baseline, and this is going to be a foul ball. He's set, and the one-two pitch, and a fastball called strike three. Are you kidding me? Yeah, retired. yell at him, Jesus. Yell at him. That was that was not. It remains a three-one ball game. Ridiculous. That was in, that was way inside. Come on. Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, Sorry. and they think they're going to have a good opportunity Playing to with friends. a lot more runs. As he I've got a unique uh, gaming, gaming setup here, so All right, Heidi, thank you. I do. I have a full-time job, and I've got a wife and a four-year-old daughter, and so the only time that I get to game is a couple nights a week um, after they go to bed. Uh, she's got to be up for school on uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so they go to bed early on those nights and so I can come up here and I get a little game time in after they go to bed so I usually stay up um, I'll get up here about 10 10 30 at night and I do some recording uh, play some games do some recording till about maybe 1 1 a.m. 2 o'clock if I'm pushing it but uh, I don't get it I don't get a whole lot of time to game anymore you know I used to man I've, I've grown, grown up I've played video games all my life since I was a kid uh, man, I grew up uh, with the, um, uh, Nintendo. I grew up with Nintendo playing Metal Gear, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Kid Icarus. I mean, I've played all those, all those NES games. And, uh, then as I got into my 20s, I, you know, was playing the Super Nintendo, PlayStation, and I've grown up with PlayStation my entire life. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet. And, uh, I wasn't really big into Xbox. I didn't really play... The Xbox much, although I own you know uh, the Xbox X360 and the Xbox One, but um, you know I gamed all my life through my 20s, and then I got married at 26, and didn't game too much. Gamed off and on since then, and then uh, my daughter's four now, and I just got back into gaming about about two years ago, I guess. And uh, I do own a video game store online. I've been selling on Amazon since 2010, uh, off and on. I'm trying to sell some video games there. And um, but I always just love to play my entire life. But uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this story. I'm just rambling on as I play this game. But uh, you know, I'm just trying to get back into gaming now. And so what really got me back into it is I started following this guy named the Backlog Gamer. And he's on YouTube, so if you want to look him up too. And uh, he's like me. You know, he's an older man. Uh, like, you know, I'm in my 40s. And he's in his 40s probably. And uh, he's got wife, kids, whatever. And he's back into gaming. And he says there's a bunch of Backlog games that he wants to play. And so he's trying to play them. And he's recording, putting them up on YouTube. And uh, that's what I want to do. I'm just playing some games. Just trying to go through. Pitch on the way old titles that I've never played before. Uh, believe it or not, I've never played the Halo series, ever. Never played a single Halo game in my life. So when I get done with going through, so what I did is I just took the Nintendo, the, the old NES, and uh, I started to play through back a, cat, a catalog of games that I wanted to play. And I started out with Metal Gear, the, the original Metal Gear from 1987. And so I played the entire Metal Gear series. And it's taken me about a year to get through that series. I think I started playing, uh, and I wanted to play them in chronological order. So I started with um, Metal Gear Solid 3, which is based in like 1967, I think is the, is when the, the game is supposed to be based in the year it's supposed to be in. So I started out with that, went, went, went chronological order all the way through, um, the last one I played was Metal Gear, Sol or Metal Gear Solid 4. Which is supposed to be based in like 2040 or something. I don't, I don't know what it was. But anyway, uh, went through there. And now I'm playing. Um, I played Metroid. I played Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Just beat those two. I just beat um, uh, Ninja Gaiden. I just beat Ninja Gaiden. And now I'm going to play Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3 and try to beat those. 
Uh, just playing the games, recording, and putting them on here on YouTube just for entertainment and hopefully, you know, people enjoy the gameplay. And I'm going to start, you know, webcam and doing some audio with these games, so maybe people enjoy the commentary too. Probably not. I get like four views on my game, on, on all my uh, videos, so whatever. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone mm, for the nice first swing. strike. Right. Hit the other mm, way. Nice hanging curve ball. Right field. Drop, 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 drop. Marte Damn. is there and he has it for the out. Just wonder how this audio is gonna be. I'm interested. Matt Carpenter. It was a oh, Matt Carpenter had a nice hit earlier. At the plate. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the Ooh, zone. Nice. Interested to see nice how pitch. he approaches this next day. No balls in his Fastball cutter down. curve change. Fastball now the cutter curve change. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air Ooh, down the nice line hit. and left. Nice and it gets down and we'll see if that's extra bases. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Stay, stay, stay. And he'll reach second now with one away. <laughs> wow, the pitcher must be just shaking his head. Yeah, that that pitcher wasn't anywhere okay. near the strike zone. Come on, Tony. But he gave it the old tomahawk chop and somehow connected with it anyway. Now he's standing on second, and he even has to smile about that one. Tony Walters is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, 1-0. and oh. A base hit in his first trip. The 1 0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. <sighs> this is hit the other way out toward left field. Peralta will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Well, what are we at? Fourth inning. The box now is the Colorado pitcher. Oh, keep him in. Two outs here. Maybe he'll get a nice hit. He's a pretty decent hitter. The first pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Tying run at the plate. The 0-1. Nope. Ball one. One ball, one strike. One run, six hits, and one error in the ball game for the Rockies so far. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Colorado. They still trail it here three to one. Digging in to try it again. Ildemaro Vargas. He's in to oh, get yeah. things going here in inning number five. 58 pitches. We'll probably get somebody warming up next first inning. pitch of the at bat on its way. To first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. The pitcher. All right, Matt Bum. Base is empty here with one away, and the pitcher Madison Bumgarner will bat next. Yeah, Marquez has kind of settled down there since the first inning. Gave up three in that first inning, but man, we just can't get any offense going. I just cannot get any. Can't sit back long Can't get any good hits. Get any base hits. Get any manufacturing any runs. Can't get nothing going right now. Now here's the pitch. What do you call it, Tony? Another fastball. Go high and inside. See if Madison will swing. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. <laughs> that's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But yeah. he threw that all out the window to get that We're just doing three fastballs. The same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Starling Marte is in with Tell you what, man, Marquez is an absolute no beast this point. on the mound. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Oh, and uh, John Gray's hurt, too. I forgot about that. So I got uh, Charlie Blackman and John Gray both on the 
Hot shot on the ground is short. Uh, we're going to get Trevor. It in. And he'll beat the throw as the first baseman yeah. had to leap to get him him at all. the time he came down, it was too late. I should have held on to that. It could have been an error. Stepping into the box, Nick Ahmed. He went down on strikes last time up. <sighs> yeah, this guy. Let's throw over there. Keep him honest. First Oops. offering on its way. On the ground to third. Carpenter is there. Throw in time and the side. Well, I meant to throw over to first, but oh well. We'll take One that. Left for the Diamondbacks, but they hang on to All right, well, Day, Naquin, well, lead. come on now. we got to get some offense going right here. Right here. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward, the rookie outfielder, asleep. J.J. Bleday. I got a little pillow on the couch over here for him. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, he was swinging no matter what that time. I was. Way out of the zone I was. I was swinging no matter what. My hair is terrible. And it's fouled away. Get balled up there. Yeah, I'm not chasing that. I would have on the first strike. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my man on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best. Ooh, nice. In the Belted high and deep into right center. And he oh, will run this one down. Dang. A good read off the bat for the yeah. second out. Who is that? So. Need a slower man up there in center field to make that a hit. Ready once again, Colton Welker. Dang. Last time through was a base hit. All right, Colton, get you on base here. Bring up Trevor Story. Bumgarner has his target. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. One ball, one strike to count. Yeah, they're getting restless out there in Colorado. Are empty here with two men out. They want some uh they want some offense going. I do too. Belted high in the nice. air out to left. That's got to be out. That's got to be out. To the track. Now a leaping effort yes. at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is there gone. There we go. There we go. There we go. Man, like I got a base hit out of Naquin and have been two run shot. Oh well. Home run for him on the season. Nice. And the Rocks have made now, this guy was uh, Arenado's backup on third. He's actually a third baseman. I got him out in center field today because. Uh, Chris Owings is on my team, and he's center field, but I think he was a little tired today, so I pulled him and put Colton out in center field, and I got David Dahl on the bench today, too. He's a monster, too. I think he's actually either second or third in the uh, batting average for the uh, National League. Ugh, and Trevor on base. Mm. All right. Well... We'll take that. We'll take. We'll chip away at one. Three to one. Or three to two. I mean. Who? All right. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some people going in the bullpen here. Diaz. Warm him up. And let's go with. Uh, let's warm up Brian Shaw too. I think the First next time around, I'm going to go ahead and bat. pull him. I don't know. He's only at 67. Now 67 pitches. I mean, that's not too foul. bad. After that, I mean, we had a bad first inning, but he's pretty much settled down Here after that. So, I don't know. Here's a I may not pull him until... Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to Still speed up his back. I don't know. Just maybe, right maybe, maybe let him do a couple more innings. I don't know. We'll see. Now, oh my, this uh, they're not even moving. They're not even moving in the field. Out of 
here into the visitors bullpen. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game. And it stakes the Diamondbacks ah, to a 4-2 to two lead. Yeah, okay. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talking about... What was that? A fastball down the middle? Well, he is perfectly He's a little bit low, but dang. In the heart of the zone. Lifted in the air out to left field. Welker has him played perfectly as he puts it away. Well, I guess Colton's in left field. I thought he was in center. I guess Nate was in center. Eduardo Escobar will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. No balls in one strike. Yeah, this guy's 10 for 16 with two homers against Marquez. He's pretty much got his number. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swinging a soft liner. And there's out number Yeah, and I got two. Kiki Hernandez at second base. I traded to the Dodgers for... Uh, well executed two seamer on the outside. I can't remember who my second baseman was now. He's the actual second baseman for the Rockies. I just can't remember. Name can't come to mind right now. Because it's freezing up here. And it's like 1.20 in the morning. So, I can't remember what uh, our, our second baseman's name is. And the Rockies are my favorite team. Two out, nobody on. Liner towards second, but this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. One for the Diamondbacks, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. Through five and a half, it's now 4-2 Arizona. All right. We gotta get two more. We got it. We gotta get one. Here comes the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Fastball cutter curve change. And the pitch. And he fouls this one late on that. A little bit high and outside. It still would have been a strike. One and one to the Rockies' first baseman. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Big rip at the curveball, but he comes up empty, and it's even at two and two. Hey, you'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Thanks. Thanks. Like, I didn't know that. And he stays alive here. Man, I'm sorry, Jesus. I am making you look like, look like trash up here at the plate. It's me, not you. <laughs> Still even at two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, that hit him. Come on. What a great battle to start this inning. All right, hey, Seuss. Great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Grounder down oh, the line at third. Ball. That would have been ball. It. And that's out number one. Was Jesus is like a freight train trying to get down there. That would have been a ball for sure, wouldn't it? That was way outside. Yes, it was. Way outside. A hit in two tries for him so far. Hmm. And that misses ball one. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Hmm. Ball and a strike. Dang. One and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two misses for the second ball. What are you bouncing off about? He's still running his jaw. You can go out there and fight Madison. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Oh, these are awful. 
Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. To the left side, but it's well foul. Man, they need to pull Madison. He's at 91 pitches. Come on, get him out of the game. I'm tired of facing him. Weekly hit to third. On to first, and Bumgarner's rolling right through him here. Two away now. Now batting. Third baseman. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Matt Carpenter. Two hits and two trips more in the spot. 340? He's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. That was me. Bases are empty here Push with the two button in it. Paused it. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Yeah, he does. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Oh, Bumgarner's ready. Here it comes. Off the plate, ball one. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Hit to first. Golly. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They All right. Here four to two. Couldn't get nothing going. Not a thing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it'll be the catcher, Stephen Vogt. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. Man, my pitcher's rolling. Energy's good, confidence is high. Just can't get any offense. Cannot get any offense going. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. A two Eight. ball, two strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. So he'll chase a fastball outside. Fastball is Nuts. outside, and it's full now, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Fouled away. That was a terrible pitch. I don't know what was going on there. The next Slider got two. away from me. Tight. Struck Got him, him out. Got Struck him. him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone. See if we can get double digit K's. In this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Got nine. Stepping in now. Delimaro Vargas. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. What do you call it for? Four seamer? I mean, two seamer. Four two our score. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, two gone. All right, maybe we strike out on Madison Bumgarner. Bumgarner. Will Calhoun will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Calhoun. Cole Calhoun. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. They have pulled Two Madison. So that's good. Maybe we need some offense going now. And it's fouled away. All right. Two out, nobody on. Knuckle curve. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get him to chase one. No. Nope, A little cannot. bit off the outside. It's one and two. Let's try the slider.
Got him. And he will strike him out. Got 10. 10 now in the ball game and the inning is over. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. But they still lead this one four to two. Yuan Lopez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound. 4.28 ERA. He's two and two. All right. Last half of the Tony. seventh here. Yeah, if Tony gets on, I'm pulling pitcher, Tony Walters. Pulling Marquez. If he doesn't, I don't Here's know. Here's the first pitch to him. What's this guy? What's this guy throwing? Fastball, slider, changeup. He's got three pitches. Fastball, slider, changeup. He's hit me up with a fastball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. That didn't just miss. That was so high. Come on, man. One one, grounded softly to the right, reined in, and there's right. one down now. I don't know. Should I pull him? He's having such a good game. Well, he's a decent game, not having a great game. Well, they say I need to bring in a pinch hitter. May as well do it. Oh yeah, I got Puig on my team too. Matt Joyce, Jack Flaherty. That's who the other pitcher I traded for. Let's bring in David Dahl. Let's do it. Why not? David Dahl will move into the on deck circle base. now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Dahl. Fastball, slider, changeup. And they start him with a changeup, but this is chopped foul at home plate. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And he takes this one high, one and one. She right guy, right base. spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Get on just base. the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning. Double would be nice. Home run would be great. Double would be nice. Swing and a ball hit softly Two change-ups. I can't handle the change-up, though. Ball. If anybody ever plays one me in the Diamond the League, now. hit me up with change-ups because I can't. I can't. Can't hit them. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Damn it. Marte is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. The right field. Game day. Right Ready for another shot now. J.J. Blade. <sighs> bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. What are you swinging at that for? This one off. God, that ball was above your head. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Here now the two-two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here it comes. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts, three up, three down for Colorado. Still down by a count of four to two. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Ah, that's bringing Shaw. I mean, uh, Jairo Diaz has been summoned Diaz. from the bullpen, as he'll do so to start the. I mean, it's, it's cold. It's too cold. I'll be right back.
but it's too cold in the house. Standing in, Starling Marte. Get these, uh, get these headphones back on, or these uh, earphones. Got to get some headphones. Definitely going to do that. The heat had dropped down to 64 in the house. I'm freezing up here. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. I pulled Marquez and we got nothing. Books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Stepping in, Nick Ahmed. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Strike one to start right. the at bat. Got one out. Now the 0 1. Nice slider. And a miss and he's in control 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's no way. so good. I think he might throw it again. And the off balance throw will be too late. So yeah. a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. A good effort that was close. Right there out of the box. Good, not good snag. Getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dad. Yeah, he was safe. Frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, going, okay, there's going. a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Welker is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Yeah, the, the heat had kicked down to like 62. Man, it's freazing in here. Ah, that's the reason I can't get nothing going. Hands too cold. <laughs> Coming to the plate now, David Peralta. He flew out in his last at bat. Throw over to the bag, and he'll be back in standing up. No, they wouldn't send him. They wouldn't send him, would they? L1X. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. <laughs> yeah. They weren't going to send him this time. Here's the 1 0. Ball in. That can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count. And if yeah, you throw does. another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Good pitch there. Man, this guy's got a monster front. slider. Hits are even at seven apiece. Three and one to the Diamondbacks. Yeah, I don't want to go to Of course, Escobar's hitting good, too. The 3-1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw over to Aguilar at first. will take care of him to end the inning. One left for Arizona as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. All right. This inning right here, we've got to score. We've got to do something right here. Archie Bradley. Oh, man, nice beard, Archie. What's this guy got? Fastball, curve, knuckle curve. Two seamer, and a changeup. Fastball, curve, fastball, changeup. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Starts down with the knuckle curve, and he swings through it for strike one. Swinging two curveballs. Two, two. two curveballs. Trash both times. Pulls this one into the air out into okay. right field. Marte is there to put it away for route number one. <sighs> frustrating. Very frustrating. Digging in. Fulton Welker. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And that last at that when he went this guy's eight, throwing four knuckle curves. Fastball, so I'm kind of thinking triple shy of the cycle. Hitter, so well, let's do it. I let's get a triple right here. Up and down and in and out. A triple and a home run by Story, and we're back in the game. 
Mm. One and one the count now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that. Well, I was basketball. late on it. I was late on it. Thanks. Outside, two and one. <clears throat> Three and one to the Rockies left fielder. So this guy comes across like he's the plate. pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. Heading out Damn toward it. shallow right. Damn it. Marte in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Shit. Now bad. Not Trevor Story. The four hole hitter, Trevor Story. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Getting late, 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Man, that was close. A little low. Strike two is the fastball is let go. What? <laughs> what? That misses and we're leaving at two and two. That one was closer than the one that we just had. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail it here, four to two. Uh. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. And some fireworks, perhaps, to kick off the ninth. Is that There's one no just fire. about got him? Fireworks. I didn't just about get him. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. We can't drop this game. Looks like I'm going to, though. Pitch. No, we don't get a, give up to the third out in the ninth, but it's not looking good. The heart of my lineup right there. Christian Walker just went down. Is on one, deck. two, three. The three, one. That's lifted the other way out to left. And a great start to the ninth is this ought to be extra bases. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he's going to make it safely. And a great start to the ninth as it's a leadoff triple. Damn it. Yeah, everyone knows this guy's been having a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a gazelle on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Christian Walker is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 0. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. <laughs> wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. 3 and 0 to him now. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. 3 and 1 the count now. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Swung on and missed three and two. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in and from the offensive stand. Dive, but it's off his glove and the run should score. And they will get no. He's in there. A very close play at first. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. It is not looking good. Into the box, Stephen Vogt. Oh yes, he'll take a look at a slider here. Not he misses looking for good ball one. At all. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. <laughs> Swing and a miss on the heater, well, and it's I mean, two and one. Diaz I never pretty found good. myself on the Decent. mountain big leagues, I mean, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. 
And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The batter number 50. Second base. Digging in the switch hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Second and third here, one man out. That's by nice. for strike one. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or nice. is he going to drive the ball the other way? One ball and two strikes to count. See if he'll chase that. The one, two. He did not. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch, though. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And they will tack on another on the sack fly, make it a 5 2 game now. Jake Lamb will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. It is not looking good. Fab to two. I'm gonna drop another one. Man. He said here's the old one. Strike two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. Swung on and driven to right. And You've got no to doubt kidding. about it. Jake Lamb connects for a two-run home run. Over. His first home run of the season. First home run of the season. Now seven to two. I mean, the ball's jumping out of the park for the Diamondbacks, but I can't even get it to leave the Here's Starling Marte. infield. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And he misses there, one and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. And there's nice. strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to Great hold slider. on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Howard is a seven and two. But they strike for it's three. over. It is over. Stefan Crichton, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. <laughs> fastball the slider change up fastball. And they'll need him to get something going here. Fastball slider change up fastball. He set and the pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Now this one's hit hard to left field by Aguilar and deep. Center fielder going back. Still nice. going back into the bleachers and gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. Seven home runs for him on the year. Too little, now. too late. It's now a 7-3 game. I couldn't keep the ball in the park. Good job, Jesus. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you want to be is in a batter's box, and this offensive team is driving balls out of the yard. This is what's crazy about the game of baseball, Hero. You would think under these conditions it would be all in favor of the pitchers. That has been anything but the case so far in this one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Get Smoked there. on the ground, left side. That I mean, through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Four. Chalk up another multi-hit I mean, game. It's never over. Guy. He is but absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. I just don't know. Striding into the box, Matt Carpenter. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Mm, what are you swinging at, bro? Him, it's 0-1. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many <sighs> at this point in the game. 
pulled toward right center field. Marte back up and put this away for a God, long get my guys out the gym. one. It's about the fifth one. Hit out to the warning track. All right, Tony, you're our only hope. One in. No, there's only one in. One on here in the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch taken. That's a Several inches below the zone, in fact. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball well outside. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit out for second. Fielded cleanly. One there. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Arizona hosted a three-run crash to propel them to the win. Madison Bumgarner takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Herman Marquez struck out 10 in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vasker. Well, you've been watching for MLB watching. The Show. For more, find us on Maybe Twitter. Maybe win the next game. MLB the I got to get the world. I got to get this team to the World Series. But, man, we are struggling right now. Welcome to Fire Sale Gaming, powered up by FireSaleGames.com. So just shop our website, FireSaleGames.com, and get you a fire sale of a deal on some video games. We also got some books, DVDs, CDs, whatever you want. FireSaleGames.com. We're about to talk it all. Talk it all, talk it all, talk it all, talk it all.